Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, if you didn't need another reason to play Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2, well, here's one for you. Besides the fact that obviously you get to run around as some kind of gigantic titan and great old power armor out there, a proper Space Marine clunking around and smashing Xeno scum and heretics alike. It's an absolute blast. The game's a lot of fun and you can play with your friends. And boys and girls, if you didn't need another reason to go out there and play this game, well, it turns out the comment that ended up, indeed end up on Asmund Gold's video it looks like the director, the CEO of Saber Interactive, the developer, indeed now confirms that the comment was indeed his. And clearly this guy is totally based and pushing back against the crazy agenda that we've seen destroy so much of our video game industry and so many more of our franchises, fan bases, and all of the fandoms that we all know, love, and are a part of. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about right here, boys and girls, because for the Emperor... For the Emperor, Space Marine 2 is an absolutely fabulous game without any of the agenda-driven nonsense in there that we've seen some of the stuff come out of Games Workshop as of late. And apparently it looks like the CEO of Saber themselves is the reason why we got an excellent Space Marine 2 game that has become the number one 40,000, well, Games Workshop Warhammer, the number one Warhammer game of all time. Not just Warhammer 40,000, but of all. Fantasy, Total War, everything. And this is why, because they concentrated on making a good game that fans were going to love that is very respectful to the lore and the environment of the Warhammer 40,000 universe. So, boys and girls, we're going to get into this article from BoundaryIndicComics.com. Check out all the juicy details of exactly why we do believe he is completely and totally confirming that that very based take on the state of the video game industry right now is absolutely true. But before we do, if you do enjoy our content, hit that like button, share with all your friends, and subscribe or follow if you you have not already, boys and girls, because we are grinding, we are growing, and I could not do that without every single one of you. Also, leave us a comment in the section down below. Does this make it seem like very much so that he is absolutely confirming that comment was indeed from him? Have you enjoyed Space Marine 2, or is this, or are you one of the little crazy wokies out there who can stand the fact that anybody is pushing out the agenda, and especially the fact that they are as successful as Space Marine 2 has? As always, all comments are welcome in the, in the comment section down below, because as always, it helps out with the algorithm. Them. So thanks for that. So from BoundingIntoComics.com, CEO of Space Marine 2, a developer, Saber Interactive, appears to confirm he authored comment criticizing modern gaming industry for overblown attempts at messaging or imposing morals on gamers. Yes, color a shock there. People who play video games don't want those games telling them how they should live their life. I know, crazy concept. In putting an end to the speculation surrounding his post, Saber Interactive CEO Matthew Kark has all but explicitly confirmed that it was him, not sort of, not any sort of anonymous troll who recently called out the overbearing, woke scold nature of the modern video game industry. Well written, Spencer. Good job, buddy. As previously reported in a response to a recent video from popular streamer Asmongold, in which the content creator reacted to the YouTuber Legendary Drops original video, Space Marine 2 is a reminder of what we lost. Kark himself appeared to turn out in the comment section to reveal, Hey man, CEO of Saber here. I love your videos. When we signed the deal to make Space Marine 2, all I wanted and wanted was a throwback game. What does he mean by throwback game? We had a chance to work on something which is by nature was old school. He explained via his supposed personal YouTube account. I can't even comprehend many of the current games that we play these days. They are too complex and too much of an investment. We worked on Halo back in the day, and that game can be stilled down to the simplest of shooting loops, but it was entirely addicting. This is what we wanted to recapture, and I absolutely do think they've done a very good job. As a guy that literally was such a Halo fan, that that was the only reason I ever justified buying an Xbox out there, because I loved those games so much, and they were an absolute blast to play. Space Marine 2 is very similar in that vein, and the best part is you get to play with all your friends there's a bunch of extra missions and all kinds of extra stuff you can go through after you finish the actual storyline of the game and i'm just i've been loving it i literally was just playing it last night at the time of the recording of this video i hope the games like space marine 2 and black myth wukon Ooh, i bet that's really gonna make all the wokies melt down on the internet we might have to do a little follow-up video just covering all of that because yes black myth wukon the a number one absolutely insanely successful game this year has been crushing it out there boys and girls and all because guess what that was a company that also pushed back against the agenda that even companies like IGN tried to have one of their writers completely and totally take this down and make
make them answer for their crimes of violating the agenda. And guess what? Now IGN has a hub about everything you need to know about Black Myth Wukong and how to succeed in the game. Because even IGN had to admit that going this way was a failure. And yes, they also like money as well. So he hopes that Space Marine 2 and Black Myth Wukong are the start of a reversion to a time when games were simply about fun and immersion. I spent some time as Chief Operating Officer at Embracer Group. Oh yes, Embracer. And I saw games there that made me want to cry with their overbone attempts at messaging or imposing morals on gamers. We just want to do some glory kills and get to the heart rate up a little. For me, that is what games should be about. And the craziest part about this is this is such a very common sense take. But this will be considered extreme and radical with a lot of these wokey agenda trying to driven nonsense insane folks out there because this means that they don't get to put their agenda in your escapism and that drives them insane. Also, the success of Space Marine 2 and the success of Black Myth Wukong, two games without any of the agenda driven drivel in it have been hugely successful and they can't stand it because yes, the world doesn't agree with them and it's not going their way. At the time of the comments posting, whether or not it was actually written by Cart could not be verified, as the YouTube account contained absolutely no identifying information that could not have been obtained from publicly available sources. However, the CEO has now seemingly admitted that he was, in fact, the comments author. On September 17th, the Games Fund managing partner, Ila Imarev, shared a 4chan repost of Kark's supposed comment to his personal LinkedIn page and declared, One of the coolest things I've read recently, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 is a badass game. I agree. We played it in co-op with fellow The Games Fund managing partner, Maria Kokmola, and had tons of fun. Proceeding to directly tag Kark himself, Esmeram added, So refreshing to see Matthew Kark engaging with the community. Based CEO. I wish big companies will hear the community and their customers. You know, players and not just shareholders. Yes, because we know so many of those shareholder investment groups are totally down with the agenda. And that's blowing up in their faces too. And that I absolutely love. And then someone said gaming is healing. So in response to Evram's praise, Kark cheekily observed, whoever wrote that seems pretty sharp. Well, now, boys and girls, right? It's not an outright, complete and total admission that, yes, that was indeed me. But, boy, it sure seems like if even if it wasn't, he completely and totally agrees with the sentiment, which would be more than enough to cause the insane, wokey activist cultists out there to have a complete and total meltdown. They are losing. The world is healing. God is still on his throne in heaven. Two plus two still equals four. And go woke, go broke exactly is coming to full total fruition this wonderful year of 2024. And if that's not the closest thing to a non-legally binding confession as one can give, I'm not sure what it is. What is, says our dear sweet Spencer. And he's absolutely right. That is, the guy absolutely, completely, and totally confirmed that yes, indeed, that is my account. That yes, indeed, I did make that comment. And yes, indeed, I do believe all of those things. And holy cow, look what happens. Look what happens happens when someone takes a common sense approach to a video game development situation. Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 is the most successful video game ever for the Warhammer franchise bar none. It has crushed it. It has made the company a buttload of money and will continue to go forward as well because this is a game that so many of us love to play. And when you have developers out there who clearly just are some common sense folks out there that just want to make good video games for the sake of good video games without trying to preach to anybody, without trying to insert their moral issues or their own insecurities into it so that way they can better feel represented is not how you work this is how you do it and to come out and go against that kind of non-stuff boys and girls i don't care what game this guy works on as long as he sticks with these kind of ideals his future is going to be extremely successful because right now this is the kind of thing that's winning and it will continue to win and the other side will continue to lose because their nonsense does not work two plus two still equals four that dog won't hunt go woke broke go exists for a reason and based takes like this and some common sense video game development is exactly what has made Space Marine 2 so successful and it will continue to make it successful going forward. So shout out to Saber and and all of their future success because I cannot wait to see what you guys pull off next. Come on, Space Marine 3. 
pump it into my game, Vings Game Workshop. We'll show you what your audience actually wants.